Hi, student. Great. I hope you are enjoying specialized eukaryotic cells. You know that every cell is important for the upkeep of the whole organism. When we look at the sperm cell, you say, wow, that's the best. What about red blood cell? Without them, you cannot watch this lesson. You can't be part of this lesson. You'll be sleeping. You'll be lying in bed. Let's look at nerve cells too. In fact, I would like you to use the word neuron. Neuron. So one is the neuron. It's the one responsible for coordination, transmission of impulses. Coordination means ability to receive, ability to res receive and respond to a stimulus. It's very important because it protects the organism from danger. I told you that if you step on a fire and you don't remove your leg, you remain there and you get bent. That's the nerve. Nerve cell. So go and find out why is it that if somebody is having a fracture, Ice block. Ice block is used to massage. But the person will not feel pain again. And, but, and that they are carrying out an operation. Operation. Or sticking. They use certain chemicals. So that the nerve cells will become insensitive. They will not feel pain. They will be shouting. That they are killing you. The nerve cells have been made not to respond. So you want to look at the nerve cells. Let's draw it nicely. We have different types of nerve cells. But the one that we'll be drawing is a motor neuron. Motor neuron. I told you that we'll be drawing it. You're looking at it again when you get to mega 2. Mammalian physiology. But we just want to appreciate it here. And know that we are here to offer biology. The nerve cell is made up of uh, the cell body. So the whole of this is the cell body. And the cell body is made up of the nucleus. Cytoplasm. Then we have cytoplasmic extensions. Cytoplasmic extension of the cell body, known as dendrons. One is dendron. Then dendrons branch into dendrites. So one is a dendrite. So we have dendrites. People like to cytoplasm. They the longest dendron is what we call an axon. The longest dendron is the axon. So this is the axon. So we call this terminal dendrite or nerve endings. Then we have myelin sheath. So this myelin sheath. And the gap between them is a node of Ramvia. I hope it's interesting. Node of Ramphia. 
So this is a diagram of a neuron. So we don't want to dwell too much into this because we have squan cells. We have node of Ranvia. But what you have to know is that this is a neuron. How is it adapted? We have a lot, but let's look at a few for the purpose of our age, because we are in the first year. Okay. So then they will receive nerve impulse. Do you know what it means? For instance, if you have a mosquito bite, or somebody cuts you, or hot water pours on you, it's a dendrite that will receive it. They pass it onto the dendron. So the axon will carry it to another one. Because if this is your skin, this one may not lead directly to the central nervous system, your brain or spinal cord. But there's another one here. Okay? Also, so the axon will transmit the nerve impulse to another nerve cell or neuron. I hope it's clear. How is it adapted? Then try to receive. Dendron to take it from the dendrite to cytoplasm. The axon to transmit the impulse to another neuron. The myelin sheath and node of Ranvia are for speeding up the rate of impulse. I told you there are big vocabulary that I want you to, you know, organize your shock absorbers very well so that when you get to the higher classes, we drop this vocabulary so that you don't get crushed. This is why I want to rest my case here. Neuron. What about muscle cell? Call it muscle fiber. Red blood cell, call it erythrocyte. Sperm cell, spermatosum. I hope it's clear. Let me give you some information. The neuron and the muscle fiber perform electrical activity. Let me give you another one. The sperm cell and the white blood cell known as phagocyte can move on their own. Red blood cell cannot move on its own. It, it moves by the pumping action of the heart. Can move on their own. The longest cell is a neuron. The longest cell is a neuron. I hope you are there. The longest cell is a neuron. The longest cell in the mama is a neuron. The smallest cell in life is a cell of bacterium. And the largest cell in life is the egg of ostrich. Egg of ostrich. The next time we meet, I want each and every one, each and every one to bring one egg of ostrich to class. I will give you marks. See you in the next lesson with eggs of ostrich, where we treat specialized eukaryotic cells in plants. Bye-bye.